This is part four. Let's return to this question that we still haven't quite adequately answered yet. Does the structural vibration of the guitar contribute to the signal output and the resulting sound, the resulting tone? We saw earlier that the joint between the neck and the body has a very important impact on the output signal and the resulting tone of the guitar. What else? Let's take a look at a different guitar. This is another popular and historic guitar model. Again, I'm not going to talk about what the model is or who makes it. But let's compare the neck vibration and the signal output. I'm not bothering to show you cross correlation on this one because there is something rather really obvious in this case. The output signal, the lower plot, has a mode missing, doesn't it? It's the second mode. It's not there. It's missing the information. But here it is in the top plot from the neck vibration. Hmm, what's going on here? How can we have such a strong vibration occurring at this specific frequency, yet the output from the picnic, from the pickup, has disappeared? How is that even possible physically? Now let's remember that this frequency, the one that's missing from the output signal, is about 167 hertz. Let's do a quick impact test of this guitar. Lo and behold, a very prominent structural vibration mode of this, of this guitar occurs at 167 hertz. So let's get this straight. The guitar wants to vibrate at 167 hertz. It wants to vibrate at that yet the string is apparently not vibrating at that frequency. Does that even make sense? We better examine this further. What I propose is that we mount the guitar in a fixture where we can clamp the neck along its entire length, essentially stiffening it completely and attempting to stop that structural vibration completely. Then what happens to the string vibration? Now we compare the output signal of the guitar in its free state compared to the guitar in the clamp state. When we clamp the guitar, the output at 167 hertz appears. If we release the guitar so it's free, that frequency is gone from the output signal. So we have just proven without a doubt that the structural vibration of the guitar can impact the output signal and the resulting sound, the resulting tone that the guitar produces in a really big way. But why? How is the structural vibration of the guitar somehow causing the string vibration to be stopped? Here I'm presenting a concept that outlines my physical interpretation of what is happening. A tune mass damper is a system where a mass is on a spring in a dash pot and of course it has a natural frequency. You can add a second smaller mass on top of the first mass with a spring and dash pot between them. If you tune the stiffness of the second spring such that the two natural frequencies approximately coincide, you can reduce or possibly even eliminate the first mode of vibration. So I see the neck is one system with a spring, a mass, and a dash pot where the internal damping of the wood is the dash pot. The string that's vibrating is the second, lighter vibrational system, which sits on top of it, sort of. When the two frequencies coincide, the vibration mode of the string can, in the right conditions, be essentially canceled, and such that the string is no longer vibrating at that mode, while the, while the neck is. Building electric guitars and discovering the ways in which the the structural vibration of the guitar impacts the sound is actually quite complex and it's quite challenging. It's an ongoing challenge for me. Every time I study some aspect of a guitar, I make new discoveries. Sometimes I even find more questions than answers. That's a good thing. We like that in science. Okay, that's it. Uh, it should be obvious to you from this presentation that I have a real passionate love for the electric guitar. I love art, I love music, and I love the science and engineering behind this particular device. 
So I hope this presentation inspires you a little, maybe even to do some of the work that I'm doing, I hope. And especially, I hope that you would share that like I have. Thank you very much.